Have you been wondering how to spend less money and save a little more extra cash? In this video I will be showing you guys the top 10 most common ways you are wasting your money without noticing. But first make sure to subscribe for more tip to get you on the fast track to success. If you stay to the end, I will give you two bonus tips. Let's get it started. A late payment fee occurs when you pay a bill late and the company charges a fee for your delayed payment. These fees can range from a few dollars to upwards of $50 for each time you are late. And, if you continue to be late, the fees can increase too. If you set your budget up and plan ahead for your bills and payments, late payment fees won't be an issue. All it takes is a little effort and planning. If you do find yourself in a situation where you know your payment is going to be late, call the company and request an extension. They may accept a partial payment and waive late payment fees, saving you a whole bunch of money. Plus they will appreciate the call, knowing you are fully intending to pay your bill. There are a whole heap of reasons why you shouldn't buy lottery tickets, but the most obvious one is that your odds of winning are so small, you're more likely to be struck by lightning. Twice. Essentially, lottery tickets are simply giving your money away. Instead, put that money aside and use it to treat yourself with real, tangible things like your Starbucks coffee or something else you love. Grocery shopping when you're hungry, or grocery shopping without meal planning and a list is more often than not going to result in unnecessary groceries. While you may think you're going to use the items, between 30 to 40% of all food is wasted in America each year. That is huge. Avoid wasting money by meal planning and creating a grocery list based on your plan. Shop once a week and always avoid shopping when hungry. Bank fees can eat into your budget without you even realizing, and the worst part is that they can be taken out of your account when you don't have much money in there, put you into a negative balance, and as a result incur more fees for you. There are so many options for banks that have no fees, and switching banks isn't as difficult as it used to be. If you find yourself looking at banks that have no fees, be sure to check all the fine print so you aren't missing any hidden fees. Here's the truth, if you can't afford to pay your credit card off each month to avoid interest, then you can't afford your credit card. Credit card interest is insanely high, and it costs you a ton of money. If you struggle to keep your credit card under control, it's okay, so many people do, then do everything you can to pay it out and get rid of it. You can build credit in other ways that are far better for you than paying credit card interest, and if you add late fees to that then you're just shelling over a whole heap of unnecessary expenses. If you are trying to pay your credit card off, consider switching to a zero interest or low interest card in the interim until you can get it under control and cancel it. While there are a lot of expenses that are necessary, and some that can be considered a luxury or an indulgence, these expenses are things that you should never spend money on. Eliminate them and see how much more money you can save. Store and generic brands have to be one of the most underused ways to save money across a range of products. From food, to skincare, to over-the-counter medicine, Chances are your local grocery or drugstore has a store brand for them or sells a generic version. Check the labels, in most cases, the ingredients are pretty much identical, but you don't have to spend money on the big brand names. Also, if you have prescriptions, you can sometimes ask your pharmacist for the generic version of your medications. They work just the same as the brand name, and can save you quite a bit of cash if your copay is high. Being disorganized has cost you money at some point. Losing chargers and cables, misplacing expensive jewelry, forgetting where you left your keys and having to pay a locksmith to get into your house or car. If the mess itself hasn't motivated you to declutter and get organized, link back on all the times you lost or misplaced something and ended up spending money in some way because of it. Then think of how many of those times you ended up finding the missing item later and realizing you spent that money for nothing. Yeah. I thought that might get your attention, from now on, start being more organized so you don't have to spend extra money. Coupons save you a little money, yes, 
but if you're couponing just for the sake of it, or convincing yourself you were totally going to buy those things on that discount site, you're still wasting money. Don't use coupons as an excuse to buy things you normally wouldn't, even if it's just an extra $5 to your usual purchase. You'll end up doing it a lot more frequently than you intended, when you could be focusing on coupons and discounts when you actually need them. Stick to coupons for the things you already buy. The exception to this is if you're making an expensive but necessary purchase that you don't regularly have to make, such as a car repair you absolutely can't fix yourself, and you're able to find a special coupon or discount for it. Have you ever spent 10 minutes studying your cable, internet, and phone bill? It's amazing how much stuff you get charged for. For cable, we get charged for high definition, a digital video recorder, the digital video recorder service, the remote control, and, of course, cable. This is one of the reasons we are in the process of cancelling our cable in favor of free HD TV. But scan your bill each month to see if there are services or extras you don't need and cancel them. Buying exercise equipment isn't necessarily a bad thing. But if you have equipment or a gym membership you never use, you'd be better off saving your money. If you're already disciplined at working out, these can be worthwhile expenses. Just be sure to keep them as low as you can. Choose a cheaper gym, or get your in-home equipment used. But if you've just made a new resolution to exercise every day, consider a lower cost option first. Instead of spending a ton on a treadmill, commit to walking or jogging outside regularly. Then if you make that a habit, you can invest in equipment you know you'll actually use. And as I promise, here are the two extra tips, to help you boost your process of not waste money to save more for your future. Enjoy! Get yourself a decent coffee maker and make the coffee yourself to save big bucks over time. A lot of coffee machines now have the ability to preset your brew, so you can program it the night before to start brewing your coffee before you even wake up. Now you can't claim it's too much work. Sugary beverages like fruit juice and soda don't just make you gain weight, they could lead to brain damage, say researchers at Boston University. Those who drink sugary beverages are more likely to have poorer memory while those who drink diet soda daily are nearly three times as likely to develop stroke and dementia. It could benefit your budget and your body to cut back, and start drinking more water. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like the video and subscribe for more videos like this one, see you on the next one. Bye.